Hello guys, so finally I am back to check about um okay. Bas um Tagalog na lang kasi may mga nagko-comment na sana ng Tagalog na lang po in my previous videos. <laughs> Talking about the visa para mas lalong maintindihan. So this time I will try my best to magtagalog ako. Okay. So how I applied my tourist visa, Australian tourist visa. I applied it, nag-apply ako through online, online.ime.gov.au. So you, I will just put in the here in the screen and then, so yeah, and then I sign up, nag-sign up ako, gumawa ako ng account and then to trace kung ano ang visa na mas suit para sa iyo if i know if like kasi marami siyang visa like sponsored ba tourist ba anong subclass business ganun um self funded so you need to go to um for visa listings www.homeaffair Home affair, double double at home affairs that go to the AO. And then, yeah, and then, guys. And then, you can, and for more information, Paul, I will put um, here the website, the URL that you can check para sa mga needed for further, further, um, information so okay but in this video i will be talking about um some of our requirements that is in a bit cool latest just for this 2019 so um first is the photograph so it's it's the passport size photograph i just went pumunta lang ako dun sa studio and then i said australian visa photo and then um in a scan ko and then save ko i think i saved two different like jpg and pdf and then second is the travel document travel document nandun include inclusion ang passport um i got I got my list of guys, so ito yun. And then sa category the travel document, ang nalagay ko is this can tap you my passport. Um, passport with my previous travel, travel yung may mga stamp na. So yun yung good go. And then visa grant notice from my 2017 yung, yung grant notice ng visa ko last. Kasi na pang third ko na ito na adapt na mag travel. So the first visa grant notice, um, in add ko as an evidence. And my 2018 visa, I had put in the grant notice. And then the fourth is the pictures from my previous travel. So, yun. That. So, and then, okay, let's recap. For the travel documents, yun yung passport. And then, second is yung passport, whole passport mo with your um, stamp. Yung mga stamp. But not all kasi na may stamp kasi yung brief like when I went to Australia yung pabalik ko yung pabalik ko wala na siyang stamp kasi scan lang doon scan so but when you leave the Philippines and when you arrive in the Philippines may stamp siya so in case in your previous travel na wala siyang mga stamp you just include a visa grant notice so I think that will be okay so so and second is the family register. No, this is the third. The family register and composition. I in attach ko yung birth certificate ko na NSO and then sec and then yung mga family pictures na si name ko from word document. Tapos I mean ginawa ko sa word document. Nilagay ko dun yung mga. Ay nilagay, nilagay, Nilaga. So, yeah. Pamangkin ko guys. Ulit. 
So sa family registering composition, I just put there my NSO birth certificate. Kasi dati, kasi dati yung mga yung nag-iba na kasi yung um, ano lang application dati meron siyang like identity birth identification pero in this new platform kasi kami na so for the family regist register and composition I added the birth certificate birth for my birth identification I added my NSO and then family pictures yung mga pictures namin sa gathering Christmas um, New Year's and then I then I paste I paste it in the nilagay ko sa Word document guys and I save it. Tapos isinave as ko as PDF. And then in every picture I put like a description like like the in order kung sino yon, my sister, my mother, my blah 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 and then what's the location. And then under that like and then the behind a bit below below sa mga picture nilagay ko din yung like parang family tree namin yung like mother, father and then siblings and then their birthday. So, but in my previous two applications, guys, it's just the pictures, lang pictures lang. Hindi hindi ako naglalay ng ng mga information about them. Kasi nandun na siya sa sa application, like sa nasagot ko na yan sa applications through online. May mga questions kasi don like about your family ganon. So for the fourth is the ev evidence of plantarism. Evidence of plantarism activities in Australia. So my first evidence for the for the plant um, tourism activities in Australia was um, is the itinerary. I I attached the itinerary like and about um, what is the evidence? Of, hmm, okay, I think the itinerary here is my ticket. Yeah. If you have booked already the ticket, but it's not necessary, it's optional. Pero kasi ako na kapuk na ako ng promo, so yung yung ticket ko, yeah, I I uploaded it as an evidence, um, return ticket. I mean two-way ticket, road trip ticket. And then second is the planned activities. So ganun tarin ginawa ko siya in a Microsoft document. I put um. Yeah, yung mga planned activities ko. For example, I I will be coming at December 16. So I will put December 16, arrival, 17, 18, 19. Um, re maybe like Canberra, um, meeting with a family, going to 18, 19, 20, going to like this, Mount Ainsley, um, touring, um, hiking, and then January 1 to blah blah blah, meeting with his relatives in the New South Wales more than like plan and then um, under that I put also the financial um, planning I'm so sorry with the financial planning I put like maybe budget food maybe like maybe um, food um, I, I will just show this in the screen what I put because I but I think Food um, provided by ho uh, food provided by the host, um, accommodation provided by the host, and then ticket um, um, attach. I said ticket. Um, please attach um, documents, and then. Uh, miscellaneous and then I put like maybe a um, thousand to maybe a thousand dollars for for example guys so you and and then with the money um, I think I never like 50k to 100k they said you need to put like 300k I was like what that's so big but maybe if you don't have like some like a uh, host or to produce, to provide your accommodation, you need that because ang mahal ng living din guys. So yung sa akin kasi free yung house na tinerhan ko, and then free din ako sa mga travel, and then sa food. Pero may packet mani ako, minsan nang libre ako, <laughs> and yung mga gusto kong bilhin, so yun yun. But yung budgeting mo guys, you need to like 
hindi kung if your money is not really that big you need to put your financial planning para mas maintindihan ng officer kung paano mo budgetin ang kanyang money so so yun lang maisip po guys kaya i really put like financial planning in my um evidence of plant tourism evidence of plant tourism activities in australia so yeah so let's go back photograph and truck passport number one travel document number two family registering position number three evidence of plant tourism activities in australia number four so let's go to number five evidence of financial evidence of financial this will be like um yung capacity mo to travel kung kaya mo bang sustentuhan ang sarili mo when you are there and then yung hindi ka ba magpapapinggat sa kanila doon parang ganun and then if afford mo ba talagang mag travel outside the country so yun so first um pre-provide ko yung bank statement and then and the bank statement kasi may trading account ako so i also included the like a trading my trading portfolio account and then my bank statement um online guys hindi na ako in my first application i requested for a certification in my second application um bank statement pa lang online and save it into a pdf or like that and and this third application the just the same the just the same bank statement you know, yung screenshot ng portfolio pa din nakatry ako ng screenshot ng portfolio ko sa online banking and then or you can just kasi meron din naman doon option sa online banking yung bank statement and save us as a pdf so yun yung inad ko second is the pay slip two months pay slip you can go like three months pay slip and then third is the mortgage document if you have any assets mga ganun or pag-aari na bahay pag-aari na kotse um, you can include it in your financial, you know, um, evidences. And then, fourth is the ta ta tax document. If you are an empleado, ganun, you can add your BIR 2316, yung income statement. And then, fifth is my OT payslip. Kasi yung sa payslip namin iba yung OT payslip. And then, your regular... Um, Paisley, but if other companies provided everything and just once, I mean OT and regular basic something. So, yun, and then my six is the pro life, my pro life policy, pro life, talaga, pro life policy, um, life insurance. Ganun. So, yun, yun, guys, but six, six sub categories, I mean six. Ani mang upload ko the different evidences for my financial capacity. Ganun. Pero if you can save it like um one document much, much better. Pero my limit siya guys, I think two two hundred two MB. I need to check that para my limit siya guys. So that just make sure lang na hindi mag exceed. But you can reduce or you can compress the documents sakaling malagpas siya sa limit ng um, allowed to upload the document. So, atang ilan na ba yun? 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, for the 6 evidence, you will have the invitation from your family or friends. Ganun, kung sino nag-invite sa'yo papunta sa Australia. If it's... So, I attach 3 kinds of documents in this um category first is the invitation let letter from and what's it invitation let letter and his passport first invitation letter and, and his passport second is the um rela relationship photos colleges so i just put it there and the third is the like Civil partnership document or the mga certification in case married tayo, if married marriage certificate, if if naka register sa mga um, state nila yung relationship new, you can include that. So seventh is the evidence of current employment. Evidence of current employment. Um, this is to prove if you are really employed and you have something to go back in the Philippines. Ganon na hindi ka 
permanenting magstay doon kasi yung purpose mo is to visit it. So first, just the same. I think I think merepeat ko lang yung inad ko sa evidence of financial capacity. So the evidence of current employment, yung nilagay ko number 1 is the pay slip. Para para inulit ko lang guys. So So yun lang, kung hindi ka naman nag nag exist sa mga attachments mo, you can I think okay lang. It's better na mas na mas na sobrahan kaysa kinulangan. So second is the regular I added my regularization contract from my employer. Third is the benefits um, health insurance, SSS portfolio, yung updated na contribution ko, like screenshot, save it into the Microsoft document, or save it as GPG, save it as PNG, ganun. Um, fourth is my company ID, and other, if you are working part time, for example, um, a hente ka ng mga insurance, like me, I was an agent of the insurance, so you will put your other part time's ID, ganun. And then um, that will really help your to strengthen your evidences, guys. So, for uh, fifth is my pre life SOA, yung statement of account ko, yung 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 ano ng income that will add up your income, you know. And then six is my business permit. In case you have a business permit, you can add yes anything that evidence na meron kang um, kita dito or impay ka dito, ganun, business. So imagine guys, yun yung pala. Yun, yun. That was the latest documents and requirements nga nilagay ko, inattach ko sa application ko. So that's it. I will put the recap guys in case magbalo yung akong mag-explain. So yun. Oh, by the way, the photograph on the passport pala, guys, dapat 6 months. Kasi pag nasabit mo na yan dati, and, and nag-exceed ka na sa 6 months, kasi dapat latest yung, latest yung photograph passport na i-attach mo. So, ako, nagpa-picture ako kasi every, every year akong nag-visit doon. So, so, every application, iba-iba yung mga photograph ko ng, ng passport size. Ayun. Mm. Okay, and then the travel documents, it's just all about your um, travel requirement, passport, visa, grant, previous visa grant, um, passport with the other previous travel um, stamp, family register about your family, about yung, yung gaano, yung ka strength, um, I mean, gaano kalakas ang evidence na ba, yung babalikan ka, ganun. And then, yes. Pero guys, I made a survey in a forum before yung sa family register chuchu. Um, meron dong nagsabit na na-approve naman sila kahit wala silang nilagay sa family register. Pero guys, wala din namang mawawala if you will put something on it. So, I, I put something on it. So, and then, evidences of plant tourism, guys. Yun, itinerary. And, um, Oh, meron ako. And evidence of plant tourism, itinerary plant activities. Meron pa pala guys, cover letter. Like, since there is cover letter you can ever make about you. Like, how you will... The address mo siya guys sa embassy, um, Australian embassy. I will just put here as, like, kung saan siya dapat i-address. I will put in this, I will put here. So yun, and then you will just write um, you, I am Rachel N, Filipino citizen, blah 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 blah, or and then planning to visit your country to visit my purpose of yun. evidence of financial statement. Yun yung I think I explained ko na, but yeah, just to make a recap, yun yung mga evidences yung sakita mo kung anong kaya mo yung kaya mong sustensohan sustensohan ng sarili mo and your lens stay there sa Australia kung gaano ka matagal pero guys if you are sponsored iba din yun kasi kung sponsored sa akin kasi self-funded um, tourist visa sa 600 self-funded so every document series about myself or about about my capacity to travel ganun 
yung yung hiningi ko lang yung hiningi ko lang sa partner ko is yung passport niya and invitation letter kasi siya ang mag-host sa akin and my stay there for the accommodation and in case anong mangyari meron silang hanapin dun sa iyo in case mawala ka ganun may contact sila so yun yun is and then yeah in case you have more questions don't forget to um just comment down below and of course like if you like it if nakakatulong sa inyo share if you want to share it and then please don't forget to subscribe